D-backs hosting the Orioles, and the Orioles are minus 120 on the money line. The D-backs are plus 100. The over-under is nine and a half runs. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 130, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. And the D-backs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 155, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. And if they do happen to change the pitcher overnight, it probably would change my selection. So if you're going to bet the game, make sure that you bet the pitcher and not the team so you don't get locked in and crappy odds and then your ticket goes to waste. And I'm pretty sure I said neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. But if I didn't, there it is. Uh, the Orioles are 5-0. and in Irving's last five starts, he's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 3.8 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 1.4. The over is hitting his last two, although the under is three and two in his last five. Four earned runs, five strikeouts, one home run, 85 pitches. One earned run, three strikeouts, one home run, 77 pitches. No earned runs, six strikeouts, 67 pitches. One earned run, four strikeouts, 84 pitches. One earned run, one strikeout. 82 pitches. That's his last five appearances. For Davies, the D-backs are one and four in his last five as a team. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 3.4. One earned run, five strikeouts, one home run, 86 pitches. Nine earned runs, one strikeout, one home run, 78 pitches. Three earned runs, six strikeouts, one home run, 92 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, two home runs, 94 pitches. No earned runs, three strikeouts, 84 pitches. So he's given up a home run in four out of his last five starts. Now, head-to-head, the home team is 9-1. The D-backs are 6-4. The favorite is 8-2 on the money line in the last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. There have been five one-run games in their last 10. The under is 5-3-2 in their last 10 games against each other. And the under 9.5 is 8-2. A few games hit 9. The last series they played against each other was a three-game set in Arizona in 2019. The D-backs won 6-3. The Orioles won 7-2. And then the D-backs won 5-2. Two totally different teams between now and then. The Orioles are 7-3 in their last 10. Losing to the Rockies 4-3, then beating the White Sox 9-0, 9-3, 9 nothing, 9-3, then losing 10-5 to them. The over is hitting their last two, and the over is 6-3-1 in their last 10. For the D-backs, they are 6-4 in their last 10. The over is 6-4 in their last 10. Beating the Reds 5-2 and then getting swept by the Dodgers 7-4, 9-1, and 7-0. It's unfortunate for them because they're fighting for a playoff spot, but I don't think they win this game. I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.